So I honestly don't know why I haven't done a video like this before. In this video, we're going to be talking about the American Express Gold Card. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's go ahead and get into the video. <gasps> What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint where we're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out. You guys have no idea how much that thumbs up helps me out. And comment down below with your thoughts on this card. I really appreciate it. Now, one second. We're good, okay. So, like I said, uh, I honestly don't know why I haven't done a video on the American Express Gold Card. This was actually my very first card that I got uh, when I first started getting into the points and miles game. And so, obviously, you could tell at that time I was not very educated on how points and miles were working and what were the best cards to get. So, obviously, I went for, you know, an American Express because it was it was nice looking it, it was metal I mean there was just so many different factors that kind of played a role in why I applied for the card so if you're not familiar with this card uh, obviously the main difference between this card and most other cards that are out there is that this is a charge card it is not a credit card meaning whatever you spend during that month you have to pay it off in full by that due date so um, basically you are not allowed to hold balances on there uh, American Express is now starting to allow people to have like a three thousand dollar line of credit um, if in case you do need to hold a balance but for the most part if you're thinking about applying for this card and you're not able to pay the balances off in full every single month then I highly suggest you do not apply for this card I would just like to preface that before I get into what the card can get you and you know some of the other tricks i do have one trick that i have been doing lately and most people have not actually posted about this so uh, i'm going to be sharing that with you as well towards the end of the video so to start out the american express gold card will get you four points per dollar spent at u.s grocery stores and now at restaurants worldwide it only used to be at u.s restaurants and just recently it changed over to uh restaurants worldwide which actually makes the card more competitive but one thing about american express is that it's not really accepted worldwide to be honest there are some merchants that may or may not accept it and it's really it really just depends so so it's always good to have a card that might go through Visa or MasterCard. Um, so normally for me, I actually have a collection of Chase cards now. So uh, if I go overseas or if I go abroad, then you know I'm kind of set just in case uh, that merchant or that restaurant, whatever it is, uh, does not accept American Express. You also get three points per dollar spent on travel booked straight through American Express is travel portal. So that's the only way you're gonna get 3X on travel uh, if you book directly through American Express uh, travel. So, and then uh, you get one point per dollar on all other purchases, which obviously there are other cards that will fall into other categories. So that's why I keep other cards because I wanna maximize my spending and get the maximum amount of points per dollar. So yeah, so as of right now, I'm only using this for my restaurants you know I don't really dine out very often but when I do I like to whip it out and you know pay with my American Express gold card so one of the perks of this card is a $100 airline fee credit so basically this is meant for any miscellaneous charges like uh, check bags or something that you might buy on a flight but for the most part that's probably not the way you want to use it so most people will pick an airline because you have to do it at the beginning of the year which airline you are going to want to redeem that $100 airline fee credit for uh, you have to pick it in January sometimes you know uh, American Express will be nice enough to allow you to switch it over sometime before June uh, which is what I did but uh, other people will just you know they'll choose their airline and they will just go buy gift cards and so you have to do it from a desktop 
you can't do it from your phone. You can't do it, you know, from a, a tablet or anything like that. It has to be from a desktop. And so how you redeem this airline credit is by going to either Southwest or Delta Airlines. Those are the only two at the moment that I know of before it was American Airlines, but as of February, it has gone away and uh, the uh, gift card has been coding differently and it's not triggering the credit. So in order to get this free $100 gift card, uh, you wanna go to either Delta Airlines website and do two $50 uh, gift cards. And the reason why you do it in the increments of 50 is because for whatever reason, uh, that is the way that you can only redeem through Delta Airlines. And if you go to southwest.com for Southwest Airlines, then you can typically do the full $100 and that will trigger the airline fee credit and you will see that on your statement. So if you're a little confused, you spend $100 on a $100 airline uh, gift card and basically American Express is going to credit you that $100 back on your statement and you end up with a free $100 gift card. So that's how that works. Um, the other perk is a $120 dining credit. Most people have a hard time uh, getting this credit because it's only dispersed in $10 every month. So 12 months times $10, $120, right? So most people, they'll, you know, it's only through like Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, it's through Seamless, um, Shake Shack is another one, Cheesecake Factory, those are some of their things where, where it will trigger that $10. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes if you're trying to do through Seamless or like Uber Eats or something like that, uh, you end up paying way more than what you want. You know, so if you're really trying to get a $10 meal, you're gonna pay like five or six bucks no matter what extra on top of that with the, uh, you know, with the delivery fees. So the delivery fees are so high. So what I've been doing, here's exactly what I'm going to tell you, you know, the little bonus thing that I was gonna tell you. I've been going to either Cheesecake Factory or to Shake Shack and I've been getting $10 gift cards and it has been uh, triggering that $10 statement credit every single month. So usually, you know, sometimes I forget, but I try to do it in the first week of every month. And so that way I can redeem that $10. Um, so that way I can get the most value out of this card. And, you know, so far it's been pretty good. You know, as most of you know, <clears throat> The rose gold card, which is the one that I have, was supposed to be a limited edition card. And it was supposed to have ended in February, I believe, or no, it was January. So it was supposed to have ended January like 9th, I believe, something like that. Uh, and that was the reason why I applied so early for it was because I wanted to make sure that I was gonna get my card. Um, and it being limited edition, I mean, it made it more desirable. Uh, and now, as you guys might know that American Express has done a relaunch of the American Express gold card, the rose gold version. It is, I believe, 35,000 points right now for spending 2,000 in the first three months, which is not necessarily hard to do. Uh, you know, if you pay bills, some people live in apartments, you can pay your rent online most of the time. So uh, yeah, that's an easy way to hit minimum spend. And um, so yeah, guys, uh, the only thing that I find very difficult is actually redeeming my membership reward points. And so those membership reward points uh, are obviously American Express points. Um, that's what they refer to their points currency as. And so it's really up to you guys how you want to value this card. I, like I said, I only use it for honestly dining right now. And then I use it for the, the credits. I'm not using too much of it anymore. Um, just because I'm using a whole bunch of different cards to maximize my spending. Uh, I only use this for dining. So guys, let me know down in the comment section what you think about this charge card. Would you apply for it? Um, what are some of the things that you may not necessarily like about it? Uh, in my opinion, it's probably one of the most competitive cards out there right now. And it's not a bad card to have in your arsenal. And you know, it's American Express. So American Express is one of those names that most people like to be connected to. Uh, so yeah. And that'll conclude today's video guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below to let me know what you guys think of this American Express gold card. 
I think it's pretty good and I think it's a really good card to have in your arsenal of cards to maximize your spending. Don't forget to hit the bell notification down the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit is your life. I will see you guys next time. Peace.